how strange was it for you to get called for the face mask the other day? And, and I mean, how much did you almost break your finger on that? Yeah, uh, it definitely was different. Uh, I obviously don't want to have my hand in anyone else's face mask, and probably not even my own. So I tried. I was trying to get it out as quickly as possible, uh, but uh, luckily it didn't hurt us too bad. But uh, it, it was definitely a weird, de weird deal. That helps the hand. It's it's doing better. I mean, a lot of the swellings went out in these last two days, uh, and so I was able to throw the football around today, and, and I'm excited to go out and practice and be able to spin it around there. But uh, definitely, it was a little little scary after the game when it when it was when it was a little bit uh, the bruised and the swelling and stuff like that. But as uh, we've kind of done more and more treatment, uh, the swellings went away, so I was able to throw the football and everything. You'll, you'll do your normal load and practice today. Yeah, that's that's what we're gonna try to do. I mean, that that's that's the plan. Uh, we're gonna go out there and just test it out and see where I'm at. But uh, uh, as far as throwing, I, I was able to throw it and do everything like that and take snaps from under center, so I'm excited to be able to get out there and practice. What is the treatment for a hand, Patrick? I mean, is it icing, is it encasing it in ice, or what, what, is, what do you do? Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of different hand exercises and icing and, and everything. I mean, just like anything else, any other uh, bone or muscle, you get to kind of just get that swelling out uh, and, and do that first, and then once that's out, you can kind of do more and more to build the strength back up. Does it hurt enough that it makes you forget about the knee and ankle? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I'm just trying to take care of my body in general and just making sure that I'm as healthy as I can be every single week. And uh, the training staff does a great job of that. And so we'll make sure we still rehab everything and make sure I'm ready to go. The last couple of days of throwing around, have you been able to grip the ball normally or are you still having to adjust a little bit? Yeah, today was probably the first day I was able to really uh, get a grip on it. Uh, I was able to kind of flick it around uh, yesterday, but today was probably the first day where I was able to really grip the ball and throw it and could actually drive the ball a little bit downfield. But the offense, in a lot of ways, has seemed a little bit out of sync the last three games. I wonder what you'd attribute that to, or if you agree. Yeah, I think it's it's just not execution at a high enough level, uh, and it starts with me. I feel like there was times in the game where I could have maybe stepped up and bought in a little extra time at, or stayed in the pocket, and I think there's just times, if you look back at last year, where I drift back and don't do the same things that I do at the beginning of the year. And so I'm really focusing in this week on the fundamentals, like I've kind of been saying these last few weeks, but just trying to find a way to where I can, I can help out the offensive line because they're doing their job of kind of walling those guys around, and I can step up in the pocket and hit these guys and give them time to run routes. Why does that happen late in the year, do you think? Are you just kind of tired? or it just something reflexively kicks in? Yeah, it's just that's how I've always been. Uh, since I was in high school, I kind of sometimes rely on my arm and rely on these back foot throws. And, I mean, those are all cool and everything like that. But you want to make sure that you're still doing the fundamentals because whenever you get to the end of the season, you're going to have to step up and make these big-time throws. And I want to make sure that my fundamentals are, the, are in the right way.